All right, guys, so today we're gonna have a review of the Boya BY M1 uh, Love Microphone and how it actually works with the uh, Zoom H8. Um, actually, as you can see, uh, I just uh, got them. They are yeah, brand new, came like this from, uh, I bought them from Amazon and the one package was bad damaged a bit. I've just opened one of them. I believe it was this one. The other one is still uh, intact. I've opened it and packed it back because I wanted to actually do the uh, quick review and unboxing of it first and then also uh, do the section of how it works with the uh, with the Zoom H8. So if you want to get into that section, you know, uh, there is a menu in the description so you can just click that part right away. But generally I read so many good things about these microphones so I actually decided to uh, get to one of my own ones. Um, I have uh, original uh, Rode microphones, which come with my, uh, I think it's called, yeah, the Filmmaker Kit. Uh, it's quite good. I also have a standalone uh, Rode microphone, but one of them I think I burned. So I decided to buy these ones. Uh, and let's do it. So it came in a package like this. My concern was that this bulky part, what to do with it. But I guess people manage it somehow. I can also do this. So the box actually feels quite nice. It's an okay box, thick uh, cardboard, very, very okay ish, I would say. Has some stuff inside. There's nothing else. Oops. <laughs> All right. So we have this uh, is it a warranty policy. The company who produces them is actually called Shenzhen Focus, Shenzhen GI's Photo Industrial Ltd. I'm not a good reader in Chinese though, uh, but that's how they seem to be called. Uh, it also has uh, it also has two stickers, which is very nice. <laughs> I think this is the way Apple does it. Put always put stickers in their products. Quite smart for marketing. All right, then we have a little instruction. It's a user manual, which tells you how to operate it. Oh, let me try to refocus it a bit. Here we go. 20, 25 centimeters from your mouth. Oh, no need to install better when using a smartphone. So because the smartphone gives you the, um, the phantom power to the microphone itself. And it's going to be the same with uh, with this guy here. Using microphone with camera, install battery in right polarities because some cameras does not give you phantom power for the mic, and I guess it needs that to operate. This is how you uh, replace the battery or install it for the first time. Pretty neat, pretty straightforward. English and Chinese, fair enough. And actually, English comes first. That's a good detail. Which means that this product is aiming for the European or English speaking market. Then it has this nice artificial leather pouch with company uh, name on it. All right. It's a decent size because the, the microphone itself is a bit bigger than the Rota loves. Uh, yeah, so obviously you have to have a bit bigger pouch. It has the the pack of uh, moisture absorption, silica gel, uh, something else. Maybe it's like some sort of RFID tag. Maybe it's just the qualified certificate. Perhaps it's just that. Be interesting to see. It would be cool if this is like the RFID uh, tag on it. This is the microphone. As you can see, it's uh, nicely packed. I haven't changed anything here. Uh, yeah, we'll get into that. Now there's this small bag with uh, extra things, I think. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay. Then it's very solid adhesive here. Okay. Good. So what do we have here? This is nice. The... Uh, adapter, the, the, uh, the foamy kind of uh, thingy that goes on top. 
of the microphone. I will install it right away. I guess it should go up until here. And maybe there's a clip here that I'm hoping to get. There's a battery. Wow, really cool. So everything is included in the package. I'm going to just open it. That's a OLR44 cell. And there's a clip. So the clip is not that huge. Small alligator. It's quite tight. Oof. Yeah, very tight. So I guess it will, if it will sit on your jacket, uh, it it won't uh, go anywhere from it. So you just clip this in. It looks nice and snug here. All right. There's a long wire here. With this nice uh, velcro around it. Because this is very long. This is like one and a half meters here. And I don't know, 20 meters here? Oh, come on, guys. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. Oh, but it's great because then you can really uh, place it anywhere. <laughs> Okay, not as compact as the uh, the love mics from Rotor with the length of the wire, maybe of the cable, maybe a uh, one meter or so. So I guess for that kind of application, we need a huge distance between where you are, uh, the device that is uh, getting the signal from the microphone and yourself. This is super convenient, but for the daily use, it's a bit too long. And then this one has a nice switch here, which has cameras of smartphone. So smartphones it will give you phantom power, cameras will not give you phantom power, so it will actually get the power from the battery to power up your microphone. For our case, that device does give me phantom power, so I'll just turn it to off. I won't need any battery, but because I don't want to lose it, I'll just install it. Right. And there's only one way how you do it. The body, th this part is metal, like um, aluminum or aluminum. And yeah, the threads are also metal. The only insert uh, with the schematics is plastic. That feels very solid, very decent. So wow, this is very nice. And there's also a little clip here, which is also quite solid. So. Even though this is a heavy thing, and when you will run, it might slip away, but it will hold it nice, I think. All right, so let's try to uh, hook it all up together. To connect it all together, you will need, of course, uh, the adapter. So I have this one from Rode, I think, and the adapter like this, that would go from your jack that looks like so, to the jack that looks like so, all right, here we go, one, two, and then I will turn this on and just make sure that the, uh, the phantom power is not too high for this one. Oh, we got track B, uh, phantom is going to be plus 24 volts, and it's going to be on, now insert it. Turn it on, this one is set to off. Oh, and you can see the signal is coming in from the Slav microphone. I'm, I'm putting it uh, on myself. Seems like it's quite sensitive. So let me try to do a sample. One, two, three, four. My favorite dish is anything. Let's see how it will sound when I play it back. The speaker on this uh, thing is not the best, it's just to give you an understanding whether you got things recorded or not. But yeah, it works. Um, I will say a couple of words whether it's clean uh, or not so clean uh, in just a few moments when I'll uh, connect my monitors to this one. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four. My favorite dish is 
Oh wow guys, I can tell you right away that this microphone sounds really nice. Uh, much better than the microphones of from the iPhone. Much better than the microphones that are probably going to sound in most of the uh, yeah, uh, cameras, uh, like the SLR cameras, even the professional ones probably. Uh, if they even have one, probably not. Uh, this sound is, uh, it's, it's really, it's really good. It's a bit noisy. I could hear like, you know, this uh, noise coming from the side. So you'll have to do some uh, cleanup in the post processing. But so far, this is very nice, very good. I have a very good microphone in the iPhone 12 built in. I was surprised by it. Uh, but yeah, this one is uh, a bit better than that. Because yeah, when you get it from the iPhone, it's a bit hissing and high pitching. So I don't like that very much, even though it's 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 really good than uh, the microphone on my uh, yeah, MacBooks and uh, yeah, even some of the loves that I uh, used previously. But uh, this one is quite good so far, worth buying uh, if you ask me. But of course, you have to make decision for your own. And uh, yeah, this works really great with uh, Zoom H8. Remember that you have to have. Uh, converters but once you own this device you probably already have this and the same you will need if you're using other zoom uh, equipment like zoom uh, h6 for example unless you're you're using the uh, the xy head uh, which has the uh, the input where you could plug in the microphone directly but uh, yeah you can do that as well it's just i find it a bit easier with this one uh, yeah i hope you like it guys if you do if it's a bit helpful to you then hit that like button if it didn't help you, well, then of course I would really love to hear a comment from you why or what would you like to hear. And you know, I'm here to share what I experience. And if you have your input to this, I'll be, uh, I'll appreciate it a lot and the community as well. So, yeah, thank you so much and have a lovely day. Bye bye.